All right, guys, listen. Like I said, a dip is not a hinging movement. It is a straight vertical type exercise, right? Now, if you're on a lower bar, your feet cannot go straight down, right? So what do you have to do? You have to bend your knees. But what do you do? Your body's still in pretty much a straight line. This is proper dip form, guys. Down, up. You see the lower body moving? You see my knees starting in this position? And now they're all the way down here. One line, all right? I don't break a line. That's a dip, right? Vertical movement. It is not a hinging movement. This is not a proper dip. What am I doing here? Just moving my torso, right? So if I have any weight strapped on me, that weight is not being repped. You're just rep repping your upper body. So look, one more time. Proper, ready? If the bar is too low and you can't keep your legs straight, knees gotta be bent, you're going down and up. You're not doing... But now look, if my knees are bent and I'm still on this low bar and all I'm doing is moving my torso, my knees stay at this level, they don't drop down. So there is no movement in the lower body. That means you're not dipping any weight if you have weight attached to the lower body. The only way that type of dip would give you benefit for weight on it is if you had a weight vest on. Because now remember, all you're doing is moving your upper body. And the only way you could do that loaded is if you have a weight on your upper body. So if you're gonna be doing weighted dips, guys, do them proper. That other variation isn't even a dip. That's a hinging movement. Stop posting garbage trash. Remember, knees up, down, up. Proper dip form. Let's go.